Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Okay, just a little update to these switching modules which I picked up in mailbag, which I just showed you. Um, I thought I'd add a little bit more information onto these. Now, this unit here, this is the uh, combiner, so it's the multiple input, one output, so it's a switching unit. Um, that one doesn't come with a power supply, but it does power from HDMI. So I've got this HDMI running off my USB to HDMI converter on my computer, and that's powering this unit. No problem there. Okay, and this is running straight through to the computer. It's working fine. Okay, so I can use multiple inputs and that will convert it just fine. If I uh, go the other way around and I try and split it instead, so that's the input. So input from the camera is powering it, but not well. It is powering it, but not well. Um, I think the output powers it better. Output seems brighter. So if I unplug the output, does it get dimmer? I think it does. So I think the camera, though it's got some power on it, it's not as good. Right, you can see this actually lights up properly with that. And that's powering from the computer side, and that is running straight through. So this is a bit like Day's one, but I'm not having any problems with this going to my computer. Um, it's running just fine. No problems with that. And that's just I don't and this has got a power option as well, 5 volt power supply. Um, but HDMI is powering it, so I don't even need that. So this means I can split this camera off my from my microscope onto my monitor here and to my computer at the same time now, which is brilliant, which makes doing live streams a lot easier. Let's see what's in here. Power book data, it is. Got the quick plug on it. Let it pull out. Five volt, one and a half amps. Got some little cable organizer strap thing, and what's this? Oh, there's another HDMI splitter. So this is again single output, multiple, uh, single input, multiple output splitter. So it's got four outputs and one input. I again, I got a bit carried away buying stuff, and I sort of um, bought stuff I probably didn't actually need. So now I've got about three of these things, and I don't really need them. Oh well, maybe one day I'll use it. To my wife. What's in this one? Oh, really? <sighs> okay. Well, these are hard drive flex cables and they're not been treated particularly well. They're screwed up in a bag. I'm not impressed by that. These things are pretty fragile. Kind of looks like they at least wrapped them rather than folded them. Bloody hell. Hmm. Probably okay. I really hope so. This will be a crease in that one. Hopefully, it's not a problem. I guess I'll find out one day when I go to use them. So what are these things? These are 821-1198As. These are the sort of thing you need, you know, they do fail from time to time in computers. And um, I've had to replace many of them. But I won't buy these ones from that same person again. That's pretty bad. Oh, what's in here? So these look like battery screws. The MacBooks. I should, I should also explain these uh, for MacBooks as well. Um, yeah. Come on. Try and grab one of the packets out. So, just two long screws. And these are, so these are for MacBook battery holders. We've got little tabs that hold them, hold the batteries in, which tend to break off anyway. But uh, I've got a few which don't have screws, so I thought, well, I'll get some. Alright, what's in this one? DC inboard. These things are always used, but they're never new. 
we'll be able to see an indentation around the outside where the light catches it where the uh, connector used to rub on it so yeah it's definitely used as long as they are used and in good condition this one seems kind of okay anyway so a twenty two five six five a it looks right I've certainly seen worse than the computers I've already got so it's probably fine Let's see what's in here Well, it's a couple of uh, sample books. Oh, not one sample book, one ball. Interesting. <laughs> oh, two balls. Okay. Three balls. This keeps on getting better. Now. Yeah. So what I've decided to do is buy some old um, scrap boards from China. That's the only like, place you can get parts really. So all these old uh, broken boards. And these are, uh, where are we? A23330B. A22915B, which is the 15 inch MacBook. And 822915A, which is also 59 inch. So that's the early 2011, that's the late 2011 15. So I've got these because I need some parts, and um, like I think I need that chip right there for a start. But uh, and obviously, they've already stripped off the main parts GPU and CPU and stuff like that, they've already kept those. But a lot of the discrete parts, you know, um, capacitors and resistors and non no, I don't know, cheap ICs, which aren't as, as important. They left those on there, but yeah, spares, excellent, and uh, two component books. I'll get them out. Now these are uh, 0402 resistors. Again, you need this kind of thing for doing these MacBooks. So, uh, was it one ohm, one percent zero ohm? Sorry, one percent zero ohms. Yeah, um, all the way up to what? Ten meg. Okay. So it's an O four O twos. And these O two O ones. I mean, look at the size of these things. They're actually tiny. Um, again, zero ohm all the way up to was it one point five meg? So. You know, with a MacBook, you need these things. I'm waiting for capacitors to turn up as well, actually. I ordered those recently. I need some 0402 capacitors. But uh, yeah, finally, parts. I've got some spares. Let's see what's in this one. I think this is a local, not overseas. Yeah. Let's do it. Yep. Just some uh, flash drives. I realised the other day that I don't have any spare flash drives. I seem to have either lost them or used them or I don't know what I've done with them, but I seem to keep on buying and never seem to have any. So I bought a few smaller ones. I don't need much, you know, much in the way of size on these things. And these are 3.1s. And um, I thought, well, these could be handy for making like system installers, stuff like that for Mac. You know, drop a system file onto it and use it as an installer for you know, OS X. Because um, I've got 10.12, 10.13, 10 10.14 installers with nothing to put them on. So I was thinking about putting them on external drive and I was thinking, no, I like to try and keep on flash drives. Like I've got like these ones here, like it's 10.10, it's 10.11, all right? So I like to try and do this. So I'll just plug into a computer and use it. And these are both USB 3. So I thought, well, I'll get some USB 3s because it's future proofing a little bit as well. Even though most computers I'm working on, I only got USB 2 anyway. All right, see what's in this one. This is a bit bigger. But Mac books. Now I've got to get into it. Uh, certainly have taped it up pretty well. Okay. 
There's the broken ones, of course. These are all broken MacBooks and buying. If you want to buy, it's got some kind of fault with it. Sometimes I'm looking at them for parts, sometimes looking at them for repair. And we'll see how bad these end up being. These ones look pretty bad from the inset. Right, so it's got some pretty serious dings on this one. It's 15 and a 17. This one's in quite a bad shape, this one. Got a lot of uh, dents on it and everything. Now, a couple of missing feet, but it's not that unusual. Let's have a look. So we've got a battery, which may be okay. Set of screws, brackets. Hard drive flexes there. Um, that could be handy too. RAM, 4 gig of RAM in it, and I suppose it's probably got 8 gig of RAM in it. And, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what condition the rest of it's in, but it, uh, it looks like it's got hot around here, so it's probably had a GPU replacement at some time. That looks discoloured, so I think it's had a GPU replaced. Uh, eh, we'll see. Might know till I've got to pull the thing apart and have a good look at it. But there's no obvious sign of liquid damage. So, exactly what's wrong with it, I don't know. It's certainly got a lot of dings in the casing. It's not been looked after. Um, this is the concern, is there is one on the lid here, because um, you want the screen to be okay. That's also a little bit ding there. It's a bit strange. It's probably going to be a parts one. I might dump the casing and take the logic board out and look at the logic board, put in something else. Because I've got some good casings with some bad logic boards, so it's possible I might just do swaps. And this one here, this has also got some serious dings in the bottom. No battery. Some of the screws inside. Some of the flexes are gone. Hard drive flexes in there. Um, board looks a little bit dusty, but no obvious signs of liquid damage. So that's always good. So, I mean, if there's any issues with these being particularly bad, then they'll be um, resurrected. Maybe in another different shell. This is an 820-2915A. So the actual logic board looks alright. Maybe it's got a dead. A common problem with these particular things is the dead uh, GPU. GPUs die. So if that's the case, um, I've actually purchased some GPUs. I'll have a go at replacing them, but we don't know that's going to go. So these are pretty dented and dinged. And this has had a hard life. Uh, so looking here. Keyboard's intact. Screen is intact. Looks like okay. I can't see any signs of breakages. So the main thing to me is if the screen's okay. Right, that's probably my, one of the main things, you know. Top cover doesn't look too bad actually. So the screen looks like a good screen. So that's something. Gives us options. Let's see what's in the box. It's pretty heavy. Some of the stuff I ordered, and it's a bit of a clue. Chris might recognise this when he sees it. No, it's Ian. That's right, Ian had some of this. I just happened to buy the same one. Now, I've just purchased a ultrasonic cleaner, and this is the fluid for it. I've got a couple of those, so I've got 10 litres of liquid to uh, clean the flux off. And we've got circuit boards. So it's basically a flux remover one, it's, well, it's, that's what it's meant for at least. A whole bunch of spill, but it's for, um, it's literally, literally made, but it's a flux cleaner for cleaning up circuit boards in the ultrasonic cleaner, so I had to get some. Not cheap either, but it's like 70 bucks each one, but I shouldn't use that much anyway. Alright, see what's in this one. Run into it. It's wrapped up in a way that might. Anyway, well, very well protected at least. These are some ICs. I'm not quite sure which ones they are. I can't see the writing. I don't know. I need a microscope to see that. Too small. What's in here? So 
some more ICs for MacBook. These are uh, six two five nines. Six two five nines. Um, yeah, there's a common failure, so I thought I'd get some because I'm going to need them eventually. I'm sure. What's this one? Oh God! Glue it shut. Got ah. them two nine two five T, brand new ones. These ones took ages to arrive. Now I got two other batches. I bought. I purchased three different lots from three different suppliers. Two of them seemed ended up being from the same person, and they're both used parts. This one came from another person, which took twice as long to arrive. But they're brand new. Now these are supervisor ICs and 5 volt voltage regulators. So you put these on a, on a line of say I don't know, 8 to 10 volts or something like that, maybe a bit more actually, and um, they'll output 5 volts because it's just a voltage regulator. But it's also got a reset line which comes out of them. If you haven't seen this previously, I've mentioned this when I was preparing my Agilent power supply. Uh, I don't know, just a couple of weeks ago, the video, so if you haven't seen this, go back and have a look. And um, this is actually the part which substituted. A CS8122, which is an obsolete part. These are also obsolete, but these are brand new. So I have to wonder if these are counterfeit parts, counterfeit parts, but if they work, I don't care. So I'll test these at one point. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, right. These are AMD GPUs. These are what's used in the MacBooks. Now I've got a MacBook here which has got a, definitely a blown GPU. I've already removed it from the board. And these are some brand new ones. You can see I purchased four of them. They weren't that expensive to get, so I've got four of them. Because uh, it's a known problem in these particular MacBooks that they have issues with the GPUs failing. What dates are on these ones? 1123. 1044, 1232, mm -hmm, all different dates. 1103, probably not brand new ones, and probably repackaged. It might be salvaged parts then. The fact that they've got different dates means they're not likely to be brand new. But as long as they work, I don't care. Now let's see what's in here, if I can figure out where the front is. I think it's here. I'll tell you what, China must do a really roaring trade of bubble wrap. It must be a really good company over there that makes lots and lots of bubble wrap doing really well. Okay, these are LVDS cables. I don't know which ones these are for. Um, these aren't new ones. Oh, well, they, sell, they are new ones, but they're not originals. These are um, aftermarket, not Apple originals. At least I think they're not new. They might be pulled out of gear. This one's looking a little bit dirty, so maybe they are. They might be salvaged parts. I mean, salvaged parts are fine, ones are in good condition. I don't have a problem with that, I like recycling. Alright, this is a particularly well wrapped up one. I hate these ones when it's completely covered in tape. They're very thorough, but trying to get into them can be a real pain. These are uh, salvaged MacBook boards, so as you can see they've all been uh, destroyed with the whole drill through them as they do, um, to make sure they can't be reused. But there's lots of parts on here which would be good, so um, 
obviously you, you don't really know what's going to be good, what may or may not be okay. Um, there's the SMC, it's on that one at least. That's got the SMC on it. Various cores, obviously the CPU, GPU, and the is that PCH, is it? Um, they're gone. The BIOS is on there. Um, that could be handy because I've got one of these boards. I think it's this one. Where's the number? Yep, this board, exactly the same board as this. It's got a blown BIOS on it because this chip failed and it blew the BIOS up, which means I might be able to salvage that board. I've got, I've got it right here. Actually. This one here. So I was working on this board previously and this chip here failed and it blew the BIOS. The BIOS smoked. So something seriously wrong around here. So I'm gonna, means at least if that chip there is gone, I've got a replacement right there, which I should be able to put on. And um, I might be able to salvage this board if I can fix the electrical problem that's on here. Because um, otherwise, this is that best board actually did work. The um, the GPU was working and everything, so it was actually working. But um, then it had a failure and it wasn't very happy. So the GPU was working, but well, hopefully it hasn't blown up now. But anyway, parts. And these boards here, I think these are the one two seven eights. Again, the main main ICs are gone. And that's fine. I'm not going to be rechipping re those. I'm going to put a new GP on, I'll put a new one on, and SMC is still there, which is good. Um, which board is this? Uh, it's over here somewhere. 3115B, I think that's the 2012 15 inch, I think, or oh, 13 inch maybe, I can't remember which one it is now, but I believe this is the board I actually need an SMC for, it's sitting right there. The interesting is a chip here which is half desoldered. Which is strange. Right there, maybe when they're doing this, taking this chip off, they've destroyed that one. But anyway, as long as the SMCs are alright, that's good. And this is all intact as well. So, um, that's excellent. And again, it's got holes drilled in it, so you can't reuse the ball, which is fine. Um, you know, it's the discrete parts I want. Oh, I see what's in here. I think I can tell already. So these are just little compartments for SMCs, or well, SMD parts, sorry, there you go, um, and you can just put whatever you want in there, they'll clip lock together, as you can see in this array, so you can mix and match and do whatever you want, that way. Alright, so I've already got some of these for um, resistors, I've got a whole bunch of SMD resistors in one of these sets already, it came like that. And I um, thought, well, I'm getting lots of little SMD parts, and it's getting a bit chaotic about just having a box full of SMD bits ch chucked in there in little bags. It makes it, you know, it's going to be hard to find things soon. So I thought, well, I'll get some little SMD drawers, and um, then I can start to organise the things. Although I'm probably have to get some more. That's probably not going to be enough actually. But we'll see how we go. All right, I think I can guess what this is. Yes it is. It's a MacBook keyboard. In fact, is there two there? I think it might be two keyboards in there. If I can find the end to unwrap it. I'm not sure which one it is, whether it's the 17 inch or 15 inch keyboards. I ordered a few different ones recently. Based on enough of that, I'm not sure. There might be the 17. But uh, yeah, a few more of those with the backlight assembly as well. And uh, a couple of screwdriver sets and, and screws as well, all the spare screws. So you put new screws in. Very nice. The thing with these, you'll be careful about this little flex on you not to damage it. But that's right. I think they're 17 inch keyboards. I could be wrong.